The time is 8.10 p.m. and we have a dive tomorrow morning. And by we, I mean me physically, you virtually. Um, tomorrow morning at 8.30 a.m. So, T minus 12 hours to splash down. Let's go. Although I am in Florida, I'm still kind of a little ways from the pristine diving. Um, so I got like a couple hour drive in the morning, which means I need to head out here at like five, between five and 5.30 in the morning. All right, so step one in preparedness for a dive is make sure that our GoPro and lights and batteries and everything free memory card, fully stocked, and batteries charged. Now, fortunately for me, or unfortunately, depending on how you look at it, I had a dive, well, I was supposed to have a dive on Thursday night that I was gonna take y'all along with me. It was actually a Blackwater dive, so um, I've been on one before and I did film it, so I'll link that video. You guys can go watch that Blackwater dive. But um, it got canceled. So my batteries and everything are all charged and ready to go. So that takes one step out for me in packing up, but um, not in the circumstances I would have preferred. But anyway, I think I'm gonna go for the rig instead of the selfie stick this time. The rig, the tray. I'm gonna opt for my tray instead of my selfie stick this time because, um, well, this is my first time winter diving in Florida, so I'm not sure what typical visibility is like, um, but I do know that post hurricane, uh, visibility has been kind of <laughs> in the poop shoots. So I'm gonna need the assistance of the lights. You already know I got my handy dandy tote that I put all my gear into. So let's get my bag loaded up. I don't know what's a convenient. You guys know I'm not good with the camera stuff, right? We're like all on the same page there, so like judgment free zone. Fabulous, thanks, appreciate it. Dry bag, essential with my sunscreens, mask defog, um, Dramamine hairbrush, leave-in conditioner, also Shameless plug. I am now an affiliate for Stream to See, so I have like a little sunscreen, defog, and leave-in conditioner, a must for after a dive, getting your hair to be somewhat manageable, all reef safe. So I will leave a link in the description if you are interested. Dry towel, packed. It's October, so I'm packing my skeleton suits. So this is one I've been wearing this year, but I have a dive buddy with me. So I'm gonna bring the other two. So if she wants to, she can wear a skeleton suit with me and we can be skelly belly buddies. Packed. I think we're gonna wear my scuba pro mask this time. It's all black one. Just cause it's spookier vibes. Also, I've been diving with these old school, like really old school. These were my dad's from the 80s. Aqualung, what do they call them again? Rocket fins. So, you know, like your Scuba Pro jet fins, um, Apex, RK3s. Aqualung, I think, still makes rocket fins. Whatever. Point is, they still make these. They're just, these are actually from the 80s. They what I've been diving. And I like the black for, you know, the scuba or the skeleton vibes. This um, is currently my boat bag. It's one of those um, bags that your BCDs come in. So that it's plastic free. Like this is what they ship them in now instead of plastic. But handy for boat bags. Boots, packed. BCD. Packed. Uh, oh, excuse me. Regulator and computer. Pack. 
GoPro. I like to start at my feet, go up so I don't forget. Boots, check, fins, check. Skin suit, because I don't think I need a wetsuit, check. BCD, check. Real flag, check. Regulator, check. Computer, check. Mask, check. We're good. All set. Can't beat a good pre and post dive snack. Going with the classic. Peanut butter and honey, because I don't have jelly. Uh -huh. I wasn't talking to you, but thanks for participating. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I dropped it. It's peanut butter all over the counter. Drizzle of honey. Okay, I think that's all for prep tonight, so I'll see you in the morning. Surprise, I'm already here. <laughs> Diving with Julian today. We're with Captain Ben on the old scoop of time. We're doing two reef dives today. I think one's on tumbled rocks, but I don't know, we'll see, we'll find out. I won't know the names of them regardless, but I'll try and get them, put them on the screen when we're out there, but uh, do you have anything you're looking to see today? Calm clear waters. Yeah, I guess that's that's my only hope too. Yeah. I'm not too picky about sightings, so. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you down there. All right, I'm leaving this atrocity of a site in the video just to demonstrate for y'all and also a horrid visual reminder to myself that I need to purchase a reel because this is not it. This is not the one. Oh my God. So as I'm fighting with this reel, I notice there's like moon jellies all around us and I'm desperately trying to get Jillian to notice them finally she does there it is blub blub and then there's another one right by us i mean they were like all around us both on descent and on our safety stop so that was really fun they were big big old moon jellies and then again just me in an absolute oh god i just don't even like looking at it clearly i need a, i need a new reel if you have any real suggestions, by the way, go ahead and drop them in the comments. I would love to hear what suggestions you have. Um, I know which one I'm probably going to get anyway. It's, uh, there's this Apex reel. I'll pop it on the screen. There's this, yeah, Apex reel I used of somebody's, and it was incredible. Loved it. So this is pretty much the typical scenery you're going to see when diving in Boynton Beach, Florida. So as I am diving along, something just catches my eye in the corner. And I'm going to pause on the video, see if you can't catch it. And then um, I'll show you as I couldn't quite see it from this angle so I had to tuck down below the reef to get a better look. Then I remembered that I have lights on my tray. That was kind of the whole reason why I brought it. <laughs> so 
good. We're a couple minutes into the dive and I'm just now remembering that. But yeah, I couldn't quite get a good um, view of it anymore. It tucked a little further under that ledge there. So I had to go around the other side and kind of peek down from below. And as I was going that way, um, I saw the tail of a eel sticking out. So I got a closer look at that. He was huge. He was so long. Probably the longest eel I've ever seen, like at least full body of. Um, a lot of times you know, you just see their little heads or whatever, but these eels have been way too like curious and wanting to kind of like come towards the light, come towards you. Freaks me out a bit. So I just back up and then go back towards finding that little, boom, there it is. Lionfish. That mf -er. Then we also ran into these little lobsters. We did have a couple people on the boat that were lobstering, and I don't think they really came back with that many lobsters, but boy, me and Jillian ran into a lot of them. And then, as I was looking at these lobsters, wouldn't you freaking know it, there's another lionfish. This one was tiny. This is the smallest lionfish I've probably ever seen, but so cute. But unfortunately, invasive for Florida. Then another one of these eels. What is it with the eels and being so curious? I think they're really cool, but I also prefer to keep my distance from all of the creatures please and thank you that being said the trigger fish are the real fish to keep an eye out during a dive they can be so territorial but then boom i don't know if you can see it <laughs> just off in the distance a little bit keep in mind this is a wide angle on my gopro and there's the remora that's a big huge hint there was a lemon shark that was my first lemon shark i've ever seen so super super cool Lots and lots of fish on the reef in Boy Inn. I love when I get like kind of right in a pack of a whole bunch of fish. Big old school of fish and you're kind of like right within it. Always like very surreal kind of experience. I don't know. It's just always very relaxing to be down here. The current was a, a little strong today, but mainly the surface conditions were just so bad that I was fighting against my reel the entire time as the flag on the surface was getting pulled and tugged at by all the waves so definitely got myself a little little bicep workout in during this dive but you know i always think it's worth it then unfortunately we came across a lot of fishing line on these two dives so get that hook right off of the coral there and then I'm gonna get my knife out and I'm gonna have to just cut some of the line. It's too tangled and I don't want to rip up any of the coral. So I'm just gonna carefully cut away what I can. Um, and then the rest just has to get left, unfortunately. Um, but I got as much as I could out. There was a bunch on the second dive too. And I had to actually leave a lot more on the second dive than we found on this dive. Also remember when removing line, please only do it if you are like really controlled of your skills and everything. You can see here that line gets caught under my knife as I'm going to slide it back in. So it got all stuck. It can be really dangerous to get all tangled up in the line yourself. Um, so you really just want to be careful when doing that. So I had to slide my knife right back out of the sheath and then put it back in again. Oh, and it looks like I have a little bit of a leak coming from my first stage as well. I just got this regulator service, so I'm gonna go ahead and assume that the O-ring on the tank was probably just a little bit worn and torn. We made it. It was a little rough. It is rough. Not it was, it is currently a little rough. We uh, about well, this one did at the cap between dive one and two, but I managed to avoid, but still good dives. Saw a shark. Saw probably like 10 lobster. Yeah. One lobster. Two pretty good eel, I think. Bunch of uh, moon jellies during our safety stop. That was good. Um, and then... Oh, two uh, lionfish, which I would have liked to have gotten rid of, but I didn't have. Also, a shoe and lots of line. So, I call it a success. We're going to end out this video with some lovely top quality footage taken by Captain Ben himself 
Um, I'm not sure how he managed to record on my phone after I had jumped in the water, but kudos to him for putting in that extra effort to get just all the top shots for my video. Shout out Captain Ben. <laughs> You know, you gotta work for those tips. I'm joking, I'm joking. But thanks so much for watching, diving with me. Let me know if you like this style of like dive-alongs in the comments below. And if you made it this far, then by golly, you should go ahead and like and subscribe. And I will catch you guys on the next dive. See you underwater. Bye!